The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has a long and proud history of touring Indigenous visual arts exhibitions. This enables Australian overseas missions to deliver targeted and high-profile cultural diplomacy through the presentation of quality Australian visual arts. These exhibitions, over the years, promote positive images of Indigenous Australia as sophisticated and culturally diverse. It encourages the development of sustainable institutional partnerships with presenters, venues and other arts sector contacts in priority regions for the Australian Government. The success of these touring programs is best demonstrated in the increased exposure of international audiences to Indigenous art and culture, and the publicity and business opportunities for individual Indigenous artists and art centres that may result. My name is Wayne Quillam, a Tasmanian Aboriginal photographic artist and here in sunny Havana, Cuba. Three separate exhibitions we've brought to Cuba. It's, uh, it was a part of the Synchronicity show in Sydney that we held at Bumali, uh, but it's actually an expansion of that. Uh, the 40 odd prints that were in that show have travelled, but we've also included an additional 10, la uh, 12 large prints that now accompany uh, the, the three different series of works. One is Lawana, which is my art nudes. The other is Twindry, which is my landscapes. And the third show is Ceremony, which is, uh, basically explains a little bit about uh, ceremonies throughout Astra Aboriginal Australia. My name's Marie Clark. I'm from Muldura. My tribal groups are Muddy Muddy, Yorta Yorta and Bunurong from up along the Murray Darling. I was invited by Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to bring my exhibition Rituals and Ceremony to Cuba and um, Rituals and Ceremony is about the morning practices and the rituals and ceremonies that go into the morning practices and scarification of Aboriginal men um, along the Murray Darling. There's 60 prints that we've brought over and they're now hanging throughout the, the venue in three separate spaces. Yeah, this has probably been the most unique I've ever experienced on, on so many different levels. From the time that it was shipped over from Australia to, to Cuba and the, the intricacy of, of shipping something that large into a country that is, uh, has a great deal of cultural barriers to, to bring a certain amount of artworks in it was always probably going to be challenging but once we got it here it's absolutely phenomenal the amount of people that's worked on this to, to create such a successful show. We've had uh, the local people working with us and not only hanging the show but also assisting in the curation of the work. I was invited to be part of um, an exhibition in Melbourne that was held at the Melbourne Arts Centre and the exhibition was around life, death and spirituality. And I wanted to, I had to then work out how I was going to interpret morning practices and make a respectful artwork to honour those people. So after doing lots of research, I found out about the, the Kopi morning caps. Stalling has been interesting. Um, we're having to improvise and um, like for instance we're using Cuban sticks and Cuban soil. The sticks are representative of huts that were built for the women to sit in and, and wail but also beneath the huts would be the deceased to, to lay in. And um, that's what the sticks represent. Wayne and Marie were interviewed on Radio Havana, the same radio station to broadcast interviews by many of Cuba's most influential people, including Che Guevara. 
Um, they would like to start off by um, asking you um, which is your opinion about the Bago Hills exhibition which will be shown in Cuba, what's the significance of, of it being here in Cuba? I guess inviting three different artists to exhibit here in Cuba is also showing the diversity of um, Australian Aboriginal art. Wayne and Marie expressed their appreciation to the people of Cuba for the opportunity to exhibit their art in the Cuban capital. The interview was heard nationwide. As part of the advertising for the festival, the Office of the Historian arranged a TV ad promoting the festival. The show's been unique in so many different ways. Uh, normally in exhibitions in other countries is they, they bring me in to curate the show and hang it. I'll come in and look at the hanging system and the space and work out um, how the prints are to be, be organised. This time it was um, more of a general consensus from a number of different people and we, we involved the, the Cuban people a lot more in this show by asking them their thoughts on how the artwork should look and how it felt to them. Once we'd established the, the parameters of where the show was to be put and where, how it was to be hung, we had uh, numerous opportunities to, to move the artwork into different spaces to create a different look and it's been uh, hugely successful because we've got a, a, a fantastic amount of response from a variety of people of how wonderful it's come together. For the festival in Havana, the department showcased Indigenous art on a number of levels including the traditional art of Balgo Hills in Western Australia, embracing the modern medium of digital photography as an accepted art form, and highlighting traditional practices through ritual and ceremony. Titled the Australia Journey Festival, it was a direct outcome of the department's International Cultural Visits Program, coordinated by the Cultural Diplomacy Section of the Public Diplomacy and Information Branch. It was planned over a six-month period with the strong support of the Cuban Embassy in Australia and the Office of the Historian in Havana. Banners hung outside the galleries. The artists and the Australian ambassador attended a media conference. Que yo creo que es una de las motivaciones principales que ha tenido la prensa para concurrir en esta tarde. Adelante, embajador. Sobre esta exposición que realmente es algo histórico para Australia aquí en Cuba. On behalf of Marie and I, we'd like to say thank you for being on your land. I'm here today to share my experiences and my photographic images and artwork with the people of Cuba in partnership with the Australian Government for our special day for Australia Day. There was uh, the most people I've ever seen at an exhibition at a, an opening and I mean I know there's you know, myself and Marie Clark and the Balgo mob here but to have all those dignitaries in particular the ambassadors from different countries to visit us or to come in, to the opening of the exhibition was something quite special. Also to have such senior people in the, the Cuban government, the Cuban ministries, attend the event, we've been told was, was highly unusual. And they show genuine interest when they ask questions on the artwork and, and how we developed it and how we brought it over and they were genuinely open about the future opportunities to collaborate. The, the gallery tonight was saying it was the first time ever that they have seen so many diplomatic cars in the square here in Havana and they were pretty excited and um, for myself I thought it looked fantastic. Our relationship with Cuba has been developing over the last few years and for Cuba culture is very important. They put a lot of emphasis on culture and sport and so to have a cultural event in Cuba is really very significant. And we've seen um, today that we've had very um, senior level representation from the Cuban government, which sends us a message that they're very pleased about the exhibition and very pleased about 
uh, Australia strengthening its cultural relations with Cuba. So I think for all of those reasons, the exhibition is really a very important uh, moment in our bilateral relationship. We didn't initially have Cuba planned as part of the itinerary, but the Cuban ambassador in Australia heard about it and became very enthusiastic about it. And the reaction from the people to the art has been phenomenal. So I think it's, it's been an outstanding inauguration and from what we're hearing, we expect that we'll see a lot of people through the exhibition over the next month. With a number of possible outcomes from the festival, Marie and Wayne are excited about what the future may hold. I'd love to do what I do back in Australia with our mob is to, to take photography to a new level, to allow people to explore their culture through digital technology and, and through cameras and photography and if there was some way that we could you know, bring back not maybe myself but maybe some other Indigenous photographers or artists to work with the local Cuban people to explore their culture and maybe assist them with some sort of uh, technology and bring them some technology because we've found since delivering a series of talks here is that they have the eye, they have the passion, they have the, the drive but unfortunately they don't have access to the, the high quality equipment that we do in Australia. Being in Cuba has been incredible. Um, the amount of artists that we've met, the amount of galleries that we've seen. Um, I didn't realise there was so much fantastic art here. Before we left Australia, the Cuban ambassador who was uh, very interested in how we as Indigenous Australians perceived Cuba and the Cuban people, so he's asked us to put together a show of photographic works through Indigenous eyes. And since I've been here, I've, I've walked the streets, I've gone out into the countryside and I've experienced Cuban culture from a, what I'd call a very grassroots level and through my perception of, of how I viewed it, I think this show that we develop is going to be very, very interesting. I'm, I'm quite excited to be able to share this work uh, when we return to Australia. I guess from, from this trip to Cuba, it would be great to try and organise some cultural exchange between Aboriginal artists and Cuban artists, maybe even organise a residency to bring four or five Aboriginal artists over here to collaborate with you know, ceramic artists, sculptors, printmakers, you know, a range of different people. And um, at the end of that have a, a sort of arts, cultural exchange, arts festival. It would be fantastic. <laughs>